Reimagining our mission action plan. Covid has changed things in so many ways. In some respects, it's shone a light on the world, opened our eyes to things that were already there but hidden, or forgotten or ignored. What follows are the things the Holy Spirit has enabled us to discern together over the past months. In discussion with one another, in prayer, in reflection. This discernment has emerged out of pain, out of fear, out of sadness. Out of love, out of faith and out of hope. It's what God has been showing us in the midst of our experience. Some of this may be new, some of this may not be. But we believe that God is always refreshing our understanding and reminding us of truth we may have forgotten. What new things have we learned about sharing God's good news? We've discovered that first we must be a Christ-centred community. Only this will empower and energise us to share good news. We've discovered good news is shared when we believe God gives us all we need. We've noticed something about people outside the church community. That the crisis has made some more receptive to hearing good news and more aware of their own need of it and that non-churchgoers often have faith, so we should beware of labelling and concentrate on listening instead. We've found and embraced new ways in which to share good news. We've moved towards being a mixed economy church, not an our way or no way church. We've realised good news is shared in relationships with others through kindness and being alongside them. What new things have we learned about making and growing new believers outside the church? We've discovered that it's hard, that first we must believe in the truth we have to share and build our confidence to share our faith. We've noticed the importance of listening. We've realised we need to meet people where they are and develop a culture of invitation. We've found people often belong before they believe and we need to respect the pace at which they want to do things. What new things have we learned about making and growing new believers inside the church? We've discovered we grow faith by being a welcoming community of warm relationships, where we can share our faith, its joys and challenges with one another. We've noticed that worshipping and praying together builds us up. So does remembering that church is not the walls of a building, but the people who follow Christ. We've realised that people grow when they're asked to take part and included and known as individuals. We found that spending more time on ensuring the quality of worship helps people to encounter God. We've learned the importance of reaching out to the people who are hidden, who disappear or go off our radar. We believe we need to be accountable to one another and the way we behave. We've discovered how hard it is at the moment to grow discipleship among children and young people. What are the things that grieve God? We believe God grieves when people don't recognise him, forget, turn away, blame or ignore him. 
or when they only turn to God in a crisis, but not in times of plenty. We've realised God grieves at the way we hurt one another, personally and through structural injustice. God hurts when we forget our common humanity. We've noticed God grieves our relationship with creation. We've noticed God grieves when we fail to love ourselves. Who is more needy since the pandemic? We've discovered that we're all more needy. We've noticed that black, Asian, minority ethnic groups, children and young people, and people with health conditions are more needy. We've realised that COVID has highlighted, created, or made worse, all sorts of neediness and poverty. Physical, emotional, digital, financial, spiritual, relational. What has COVID shown us about justice, peace and reconciliation? We've discovered that being Christ-centred draws us into peace, justice and reconciliation. And that when we're not Christ-centred, we lose sight of their importance. We've noticed that people thirst for these things. We believe we can work for peace, justice and reconciliation by believing all things are possible with God, by modelling it in our churches, by preparing for the battle, by remembering prejudice comes in more than one form, by taking responsibility, by being outward looking, We've realised how much work needs to be done, that it's the work of a lifetime, not a season. What are the things God seems to be drawing us into? We've discovered God is drawing us up closer to himself. We've noticed God is drawing us in to live more faithfully according to gospel values. We found God is drawing us out into kindness, care for the planet, social justice, connecting in our communities, working for equality. What has the pandemic shown us about safeguarding creation? We've noticed the warning signs of fragility and damage are all around us. We've discovered God in creation. We've realised lifestyle choices are important and campaigning is important. We've found that adults can learn from children. Are there things that seem less important since the pandemic? We've discovered that rushing around can stop us listening and watching. We've realised it's important to question what really matters. We've noticed physical possessions and a lifestyle geared to acquiring them are less important. We found wrong priorities in church life can drain us rather than building us up. As the church, have we learned new ways of living out our mission? We've learned to involve people more and involve more people. We found how to let things grow organically and be more spontaneous. 
We've noticed the importance of fellowship and getting to know each other better. Things that create relational glue. We've realised the importance of praying and reading scripture and reflecting on faith together. We've discovered online services and social media and become an all sorts church that people can access in ways that suit them. We've understood that time and space don't need to define or limit us. Are there things that get in the way of the church's mission? We've realised the importance of our mindset. We're not always tuned in to good news. We don't always recognise opportunities to draw people in. We yearn to return to normal rather than adjusting to where we are now. We sometimes look for approval from places other than God. We don't trust God enough, but rely on our own strength. We've noticed shortage of resources and financial vulnerability. We found the way we relate to one another doesn't always build up the body of Christ. We've learned the weightiness of governance and Church of England bureaucracy stop leaders having time to lead and that the burden of building maintenance competes with mission. How could we leave behind those things that get in the way? We found we need to be Christ-centred, collectively and individually. That we need to cherish buildings as places to come together in worship, but change them, them to work for mission, not against it. We've discovered parishes need to be more able to respond to their own context and to make their own decisions. We believe we need to be bold in ditching what doesn't work for us. We've noticed we need to work with non-Christian people of peace. We've realised we need to be entrepreneurial and to grow our resources so we can fund our mission. This is our vision and these are the priorities in our current Mission Action Plan. It's two years since this was put together and much has happened since. So, bearing in mind all we've discovered together in this time, everything we've just seen and heard, is there anything we should let go of? Is there anything new we should take up? Respond as God leads you.